All right, good morning. We're in Heard County, Georgia with the Micropaver Pavement Evaluation Crew again. Uh, got Drew with us today. Drew, welcome back. Hey, good to be back. What, what did you find for us today? Zero seven edge cracking? Zero seven edge cracking. Now what we have here is a two year old uh, paved street and it appears as though the edge drop, the, la the lane drop off is more or less what's promoting the edge cracking. Um, as you can see here, we, I mean, we have a severe case of, of lane drop-off. If I take my straight edge here, and I'm measuring it, I mean, we're, we're over four inches. Oh, so. my gosh. That, that puts us into the high severity category it right does. out of the gate. It so does. I guess what you're saying, Drew, is the hot mix contractor came in, and we built this up, and for whatever reason, we're a little shy on the shoulder dirt, so we don't have the lateral support that's required. Absolutely. To hold that asphalt in place. So not only do we have a very dangerous situation, I mentioned earlier in the previous video on 09 lane drop off that 75 people in America will die today on unsafe rural roads with these steep drop offs, and the majority of them will happen here in the southern or the southeastern states, I should say. So we've got a situation here that needs to be addressed, and the pavement is in good condition still. Uh, for a 2009 overlay, this is holding up very well. It's unfortunate that something like this has to happen with the edge cracking, the 07, correct, Drew? 07 edge cracking uh, in the 09 lane drop. Okay. A combination of the two, one promoting the other. And like you said, we have a very severe situation here. And, and the thing that we're seeing here is that it's consistent up and down the board. So, oh, boy. Um, something that they really need to take a look at and get this side built back up for Let's, safety uh, reasons. Yeah, I understand. Um, let's go in here and look at the severity level of the actual cracking. Walk us through the tools that you're using here, Drew, if you will. Actually, we have our tools. We have a 3 8 inch. Uh, I can actually fit this. Well, in this particular crack, it's a little tight. Uh, so you can see, I mean, it's it's right there on the border. would actually be able to do it in this one here. Um, so you got about a 3 8 inch. Uh, not quite a five eighths, but maybe a you know a quarter inch for sure. Um, if it was straight here, it would show you that it uh, it is a quarter inch. Okay. Um, the the edge crack is it, it seems to be progressing. So I mean it's only going to get worse from here. Okay. So and if we look at our paver manual, it recommends that we break them up into the low category and take the lineal foot and as well as the medium category and measure that lineal foot as well and enter it into the computer accordingly. Absolutely. You want to be as accurate as possible. Well, great. I do appreciate you joining us today, Drew. And for all you students tuning in, this was 07 in your paver distress manual, edge cracking, unfortunately on a 2009 asphalt overlay. Um, but nonetheless, the 09 category lane drop off is causing most all of this distress because there's not enough lateral support on the side of the pavement. For more information, please visit thebarnhartgroup.com. Drew, thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Blair.